Hi, uh, today I will record video how to install uh, my blog uh, website on local server or on uh, using uh, Visual Studio. Uh, many people they ask me how to use or they ask me about the database. I already upload everything on uh, GitHub. You can just upload it from there. You find everything inside it. And I try now to make small video how to uh, run it on your uh, local server. Uh, first of all, a uh, requirement what we need, we need Visual Studio 2015 or higher and SQL Server uh, 2014 same or higher. Uh, uh, we should upload, uh, sorry, download the uh, one copy from GitHub. I already here I put a database file. Uh, you can install it in two ways yeah, you have here one uh, file backup or sql script i will teach you how to use backup today sql backup how to re rest uh, restore it to your server uh, first of all you need to download one copy okay this will take time uh, let's say we finished download it i have one copy uh, download. Sorry, I have loaded my project. Mm. My project. Project. I see this one. Okay. Unzip it. Same will take time. I will stop. Uh, let's check what we have there. Uh, find folder my blog website. Open it. Before you run your application, you need to uh, restore database from this folder. You have two ways: restore database or run this script. What I will do now, I will uh, restore. Uh, I'll create database and restore it in it. Okay. Uh, let me take a copy from this file and put it somewhere. Not this long path. Put it on the. I have already copy replaced on me. Let's go to SQL Server 2014 or higher. Let's say new database. Call that my uh, blog for. Okay, my blog for. Remember this name. Okay, this one my blog for. I press on this my blog for. Go to task. Restore. Restore databases from here. You need to. Uh, restore from your device so local device will take time to open it okay add file I already put it on the, f the here okay uh, remember this destination this is your source okay destination where you want to put it on your my block for okay remember this one and sometimes uh, have some errors so let's overwrite everything okay very good now on, if I check my database here I'll have all my tables here I'll check users um, this our user. So by the way, when you want to open it, this you should use this user with password five two three four five six. Okay. Now let's back to our uh, file which we downloaded. Uh, you can press from here. Will open for you Visual Studio. Just give it time. Download all files. Uh, what I need to change here to make it run on my local just on web config uh, my connection string here say for your data source if you are on local just put point or you can put your uh, server name same here my server name is Aladdin PC here this one or I can just put point cause point I'm on local okay 
initial catalog this one your database name my database name new name is uh, this one is my block four so i should change this one to my block four otherwise this here you don't care about anything other here okay uh, easy easy now just now run it Take time. First time this. And same you can use it if you want to upload it to your website. Same way uh, for uh, your database. If you want to make great database in your uh, website, after that restore it over that um, over that database. Just make override. Okay easy it's working with us no cost nothing if i said uh, login you can customize everything here even you can change your uh, uh, theme you can change ev everything uh, my user look uh, or uh, local user it's admin at admin.com password one two three four five six kabocha you can remember here for uh, this one yeah it's it's a default user but you can delete it or change password after you upload it to your website login you will go to your dashboard and because we have nothing here let's try to see our advance here what we have here in advance uh, I just want to enable registration because I disabled it already before just to check how to enable it and to register new user let's say for this one sign out okay okay now we see here sign up press on sign up let's try with the new one uh, okay uh, any email no problem password 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay get it or you can look user using uh, SQL Server profile you can see here what you have here this one normal user he can't just read your blog or write comment if you want uh, okay let's back to our SQL Server to check our users. Mm. Users select. So I have two users now. This one and this one. Okay. This one your admin. You can change everything from this one here. And this one uh, second one user I added already now. See the password here is already encrypted. You, no one can know your password. Was it? Uh, I think this is enough for installation. As I said easy to change theme from your layout you can put any theme you like uh, you can change permission you can let's say this user just let me see teach you how to change permission after I uh, enable the registration you can see you can find the registration here or sign up here or you can use uh, Facebook Even when you upload it to your website, you should change Kabucha uh, configuration from advanced uh, setting. Here, say to you, we have one uh, new user. Let's go to our users. This is my new user. So let's here. Uh, let's see here. Role. It's user, normal user. Mean he can just uh, check your website, read your or write comment. No more than comment. Let's say edit. Uh, you can put him super user or admin. I want to put him admin and save. That's it. Nothing more. You can, when you can look next time, you'll see this here or a new post or a con pending comments or anything else. I think that's enough. I will try to upload this website, uh, this uh, video as soon as possible. Thank you.